A vaccine is at least a year away, yet a drug tested in a lab three weeks ago has been found to stop the virus from spreading from cell to cell. That stunning announcement from a Rochester company now seeking to fast track the formula to treat people who become infected. 13 Web's Jane Flash tells us now if, uh, that it already does have FDA approval, a big step. Yeah, that's because the judge drug was first developed for cancer in the 1960s. It wasn't widely used, but has already been found safe for men, women, and children, which could speed up its availability if and when it's needed most now. The test, conducted at the federal government's integrated research facility in Fort Detrick, Maryland. A drug called OA1 had already proven effective against Ebola. If it worked for Ebola, is this absolutely unique to Ebola or would it work on other viruses? The coronavirus still new and contained to Wuhan when a live sample of that virus was shipped to the government lab. This is COVID-19 before. The green fluorescent rings indicate the virus is capable of growing and spreading in the body. This is after a single dose of OA1 turns the green black, neutralizing its power. The drug was so effective that before we got through with our dose testing, we had literally sterilized the culture of the virus, so we knew that this was really a powerful thing. Under a different name, OA1 was first developed as a cancer treatment. By the time it was later shelved as ineffective, it had already received FDA approval with safe dosage levels for men, women, and children. Clinical trials have already been done on this compound, and safety is the main issue. So we feel like the safety issue has been addressed years ago. Preliminary research indicates a single dose of the medicine stops the progression of COVID-19 for eight days and continues to work at half strength another four. The small biotech company OAGEN says the live virus tests were conducted and validated by a third party, the U.S. government. And that's another reason the drug should be fast-tracked. You've got this compound that's absolutely lethal to the virus, and we know it has a safety margins in people. What are we waiting for? Well, the big question is whether the drug will react to the virus the same way in the body as it has in the lab. When an approved drug is repurposed for a new use, the FDA often requires new clinical trials. We've reached out to the FDA today, but have not yet received a response. Doug.